Listen to this. According to a recent report, 70%, 70% of Americans live paycheck to paycheck. And uh, they do it if you're one of them. They're not doing well establishing a budget and spending plan. And if you're one of those, you're in luck today because this is the lady to help you out, Sully Richardson. She's the Community Education Officer at Desert Schools Federal Credit Union. And she's here to offer some simple steps and advice for setting up a great spending plan. Good to see you. Nice to see well, you too. First, tell us about some of the financial literacy programs that Desert Schools offers the community? Well, we provide classes in the community to a lot of different organizations that want to help their residents, maybe the community at large, and they're offering services, and they want to have somebody come in that's an expert and help them with their financial wellness classes. Right, and you guys recently went out to an apartment yeah, complex. Yeah, we did. And what did you so do for those residents? It was Coral Canyon Apartment complexes, Complex, and they had um, residents that were habitually late with their rent, paying two and $300 a month in late fees. And they wanted to help these people, and so they had us come out and I did a series of classes. And are these free classes? Absolutely free. So they're walking away really with a lot of knowledge and how to save some money Absolutely. in the process. Absolutely. Knowledge, tools, resources to get back on their feet, to help them to make better decisions with their finances All right, and with so, their money. So what is the biggest tip for people out there who maybe are habitual folks <laughs> who pay their rent late, their mortgage late, and everything else late? What's the biggest advice you can give us? Start a spending plan. Create a budget. Create a budget. Create okay. a budget. And, and you actually have top, the top five things to remember when creating a spending plan. Absolutely. Because it's easy to say that, but if you're living paycheck to paycheck, you're going, how in the world am I going to ever save? So these are the top five things yep. you recommend. Uh, walk us through the so list. So make informed decisions. So think about what you're spending your money on so that you can you know, make sure that you're not spending money that's unnecessary. And then stay on track. That would be through tracking, develop a savings plan to reach whatever your goals are, um, learn to control your financial future. And these are all mindset things, some of them, and then living within your means, which is huge. That is huge. huge. That is yeah. huge. Now, you suggest creating a system for paying our bills, because every month we get the bills. How do we start creating a system? Well, it's a mindset. So when, you're, when your bills come, heard where they come, there should be some system, whether, you know, when your bills come in, do they land on top of the refrigerator, one in the bedroom, one on the coffee table. Create in your home a place where you take care of your bill paying system. Okay, so once we know where they are, what yeah. do we do next? Pay them and pay them on time. And so if you even have to maybe call a vendor to maybe change the due date because it doesn't coincide with your payroll, then do that. A lot of places will allow you to change that due date because they want the money. That's important information because I don't think a lot of people realize that, okay, the 1st and the 15th are typically Absolutely. or the end of the month when we pay our bills, but we actually can control you that. You can. I've done it. It works. Okay. So we can pick up the phone and say, listen, it's just not working yeah. out for me. <laughs> can we change that date? It's so, a yes or a no. So what if you're already so much in debt though, Suli? How do we get out of that cycle? So much in debt. So start a, start a spending plan, track your spending, see where you're spending your money. Okay. See where you're spending your money. And, and so once we figure that out, because you say it's very important that we understand the difference between a need and versus a want. A yeah. want. Okay. So. <laughs> so many people spend money that they really don't have on things they don't need. And we need to do that because we live in a society where people want to buy now and pay later, or you think you need the Bank, the biggest, the best, or whatever it is, whether it's a smartphone, a car, or furniture, mm -hmm. we need to just learn to live within our means yes. and make smart choices. Yeah, especially as a parent, you know, you feel the, the need to, to try to, your kids want what everybody else has, Absolutely. and maybe you say, wait, we hold off on that Absolutely. for a little bit. And then some parents want to give their kids things that maybe they were denied, they want you, their kids to have better, mm -hmm. so they don't make good choices. All right, so it's about making choices and Absolutely. starting that spending plan. Thank you so much. Great information. Thank you. Thank you if for you're having in, me. If you're interested in setting up a financial literacy class for a group, uh, visit Desert Schools Federal Credit Union. They're located at 148 North 48th Street. That's in Phoenix. Or you can give them a call. These classes, as we said, are free. 602-433-7000 or visit them online, desertschools.org.